Hey, Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for today. I hope you're doing well. Most of the time we have this image of Jesus uh, from the Gospels. We, we, we envision Jesus as this kind, passive, sacrificial man uh, who is also God at the same time, who is full of grace and who uh, turns these social norms uh, upside down and on their heads. He, he breaks tradition many times for the sake of what is right and never breaks the law of God. He gives himself on the cross for the sins of all who surrender to him and believe in him. He is full of love and grace. That is how he he rules, and that is the image that we tend to have of Jesus, this, this gentle man who welcomes children onto his lap and says, the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I'm going to read to you a different image of Jesus uh, to maybe expand how you look at him and how you understand him, because yes, he is full of grace. But to those who refuse to hand over and surrender authority of their lives to him, who refuse to surrender the power that they have to him and his will, uh, I'm talking about on a personal level, level individually. I'm talking about on a government level. I'm talking about maybe a corporate level for, for businesses and corporations. Uh, wherever there is rule and power that is not surrendered to Jesus, that's where they are going to experience, unfortunately, this image of Jesus. And this is a, an incredible image. It's found in Revelation chapter 19, verses 11 to 16. This is what it says. Then I saw heaven opened. Just so you know, this is a prophecy of the Apostle John, Revelation. Then I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. The one sitting on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, and he has a name written that no one knows but himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and the name by which he is called is the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, arrayed in fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has the name written, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. So let's take a, a little bit of a closer look at this. I mean, right off the bat you see Jesus is incredibly powerful and unstoppable intimidating even and and there is a fear and a reverence there of what he will bring to those who don't surrender to him then i saw heaven opened up and behold a white horse as we see in a lot of this heaven imagery there are animals there are animals we like to think you know animals die and they don't go to heaven you know there's no such thing and that might be true but we do see that there are animals in heaven. There are animals in heaven, at least horses, okay? Uh, I, I don't know if that's a, a horse that was here on earth at one time or just a horse that's special for heaven, but there are animals there, according to Scripture. The one sitting on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. So Jesus doesn't just run out and conquer selfishly. He doesn't... Uh, do this out of any kind of unrighteousness. Uh, he does. This is this is his claim 
to bring righteousness back to this world. And so his, he, in his righteousness, he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems. And he has a name written that no one knows but himself. So eyes of fire. Many diadems on his head. That's crowns. It's many crowns. He is clothed in a robe dipped, or, or it can say sprinkled, in blood. And by the name which he is called the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, arrayed in fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. That's the righteous, those who have surrendered to him and will abide in him. Uh, they are following him as part of his army to bring righteousness to the whole world through the wrath of God the Almighty. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with with from his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations and he will rule them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty and on his robe and on his thigh he has written a name King of kings, Lord of lords. May you appreciate this and experience this as seeing a broader image of who Jesus is. That he is this loving, graceful figure who is forgiving, but at the same time for those who do not surrender to his authority and abide in him, uh, there is going to be a time that is going to be extremely unpleasant. And this passage in Revelation ex expresses that. I don't want to be in front of Jesus coming at me. Uh, I want to be in that army of the righteous, of uh, dressed in white linen. I want to be behind him, not in front of him. God bless you and have a great day.